In this video, I will teach you eight practical tips how to vlog in public in 2022, even if you're a beginner. This is a must when you come to IKEA. Chet bullar, aka lihapullat, aka meatballs. Tip number two for vlogging in public, practice. I know, sounds kind of obvious, but the truth is that the more you do it, the easier it will become and the more you will get used to vlogging in public even if there's a lot of people. For example, for me, I'm a shy guy, so it was never a natural thing for me to do, to talk to a camera, especially in a crowded place where there's a lot of people. But I just kept practicing until I got used to it and I was good enough. So practice until you get good enough. Next tip is show, don't tell. What I mean is that when you're going, for example, grocery shopping or to Ikea, instead of telling that I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy that because of this, show what you're gonna buy and do it in an interesting visual way. Not only will it make your audience more engaged to watch the whole video, but also it has the benefit that you don't need to talk in public. Tip number three, if you're not yet ready to go to vlog in a crowded place, pick a quiet place to start vlogging there and practice vlogging in a quiet environment where there's less distractions so that you can focus on practicing your delivery and talking to the camera. And then later, when you feel a lot more confident, you can go to more crowded places. Theo went there to get us something to drink while I'm waiting here with our daughter who is sleeping at the moment. My next tip is something that I realized while vlogging inside IKEA and that is use a smaller setup. For example, use a point and shoot camera or even your phone. And that's because of two reasons. First of all, it's a lot more inconspicuous when you have a smaller setup and that will draw a lot less attention to you, which will make you a lot less nervous in a public place while vlogging. So it will make it a lot easier for you to vlog if you're a beginner. And the second reason is that when you have a smaller setup, it's most likely that people won't come and ask you to stop filming. For example, the security guards won't that easily come to you and tell you to stop filming because you're not filming with a professional camera, so they don't really care. Next tip, keep it short. When you keep it short, it's a lot easier for you to remember what you're gonna talk about, and that enables you to focus more on your delivery. And also, it will keep the viewer watching for a longer period of time because you're not rambling. Next tip, talk louder. When you talk louder and speak up, it will be a lot easier for you to hear your own voice and concentrate on what you're actually trying to tell. Also, you will immediately feel more confident when you speak up. Because many people, when they're vlogging in public, they feel ashamed of what they're doing. And they start lowering their voice. And because of that, they start feeling less confident. Also, it's, it's a lot easier to hear your own voice. My next tip is have the right mindset. When you're vlogging in a public place, get your head straight. And remember that honestly, other people don't really care what you're doing. When they walk past you, they might think to themselves that, what is this guy doing talking to the camera by himself? But after that, in a couple of seconds, they will forget about you. So 
don't worry too much about it and concentrate and focus on talking to the camera and have fun. Okay, my last tip is go to the crowded places. What I mean is that when you've had enough practice and you feel that you're good enough and confident enough to vlog in public, when you go to the crowded places and vlog there, you won't stand out from the crowd as easily because there's a lot of people. And then, when you won't stand out that easily from the crowd, it will allow you to focus on vlogging much easier in many situations. Of course, it depends on the situation. All right, if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about vlogging, then I highly recommend that you watch either one of these two videos somewhere here on the screen, because I think you're gonna find it helpful as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.